Paro Ninja. Welcome to Pilot Ninja, a content series where we uncover things that frankly we couldn't find on the internet when we were learning how to use Pardot. We'll go through tips and tricks, pitfalls, things to look out for because with automation things can go wrong, but things can go really, really right and they can help you drive great business results through the use of Pardot and the Salesforce platform. So get stuck in, enjoy, please give us feedback because a lot of the um, content will be driven by user feedback and let us know how you go. Ooh. Cheers. Hey everyone, today we are looking at the Pardot Lightning app and how to make sure that you're using it. So essentially, um, Pardot was a product that was acquired by Salesforce a long time ago. And up until probably about a year ago, um, most people were using Pardot in its legacy version, which is a completely different uh, user interface to what you see here. So if you don't see this, where Pardot's sitting within a Lightning app and you've got all your Pardot menus up here and you can sort of nav navigate navigate through these menu tabs here, it's most likely that either you don't have the Lightning app or you're not using it. So today we're gonna talk about how to check if you are and if you're not, how to, what to do about it. So, okay. So if you'd like to um, have a look, you can go into your setup and click on um, the setup button. The menu will pop up. The, the fastest way to, there's many different ways you can tell for signs to see if it is installed, but the quickest way, just go to app manager. And now you'll need to be a system admin for this. So if you're not, you'll need to work with your system admin. And within your app manager, if you scroll down to P, so you can see here, there are two part of apps. One is classic and one is lightning. So if you can only see the classic one, it means you're on the old version of Pardot, which means most likely, well, you're definitely missing out on features as um, Salesforce are continuing to update releases on the Lightning version because that's the one they're going forward with and no doubt they'll be decommissioning this one at some point in time. So if you don't have it, I highly recommend you doing something about it. So what you can do is, I mean, if you for whatever reason, do have in your menu items um, your part of menus. This is these are usually only here if you do have the Lightning app, so um, you might not have this option. But if you do, you can come here and select to read documentation. Otherwise, just just as easily, you can Google um, part of Lightning app implementation guide, part of implementation guide and you'll very easily be able to find the most recent one. So by doing that, it'll take you through um, a bunch of steps on, you know, updating the most recent edition of Pardot and then a, the five step process to ensure that the right people have access to this app. So the first thing you'd need to do, and we're not gonna go through this, all the steps in this session, but just as a quick overview, you will need to um, give the right profiles access to the B2B MA integration user. You'll also need to go into your permission sets and you'll need to give anyone that you want to be able to see part of in the app launcher, you'll need to give them either CRM user or sales cloud user permission set. So once you've done all that, you'll be able to um, go through a couple more steps and then, and then you'll be ready to go. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, there is plenty of great free information about how to implement the Pilot Lightning app into your Salesforce org. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. We hope you got a lot of value out of it. Please don't forget to subscribe and engage with the content because a lot of it is driven by you guys, the user. So we need to know your feedback. Cheers.